Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat and today's video is going to be writing a book in 30 days. If you go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because that really supports my channel. And now without further ado, let's get into writing a book in 30 days. In the month of November, I participated in a challenge called NaNoWriMo, which stands for National Novel Writing Month, which happens every single November where writers will attempt to write the rough draft of a story in 30 days in the amount of 50,000 words. On November 1st, I started NaNoWriMo 2021 very very strong with 3,703 words written in my new project CF. The average daily word count that I'm shooting for this month is like 2,100 or 2,200 words. In order to structure this month so that I can give myself a couple days off, my ideal word count that I want to write every day that I do write is somewhere between or around 2,100 or 2,200 words a day and I did 3,700. This is a strong start to NaNoWriMo and I'm excited for more. On November 2nd, aka day two of writing a book in a month, I wrote 3,113 words, which brings me up to a current total of 6,816 words. I am currently feeling very creatively strong and energetic, which is hard because for me right now it's 2 a.m. and I have to go to bed, but I kind of just want to keep writing and I'm hoping that this feeling is going to at least last me a couple more days. On November 3rd, I ended up writing 3,321 words, which brings me up to a current total of 10,137 words in my project C. CF so far into the month, which is one fifth of the way to 50,000. And I finished all my writing before 10.30 PM tonight, which is mind blowing because that's very much not the norm for me. When I wrote 50,000 words in 32 days in March and April of this year, every 10,000 words, I would do a little celebration that went something like, woo, Yeah, that definitely helps. That definitely helps. On November 4th, I ended up writing 62 words, which brings me up to a now current total of 10,199 words in Project CF, which is the dystopian that I'm working on this NaNoWriMo. Today is November 5th, AKA day five of writing a book in a month. And today was a zero word day. No, it wasn't ideal, but I had a lot of other things going on and I wrote really, really well the first three days of the month. So I'm just trying to give myself a pass here and just be nice to myself. But I am heading out in the morning for a camping trip, which I'm also not going to write on, or at least not very much on. So hopefully I will be able to get some more words in soon. Today is November 5th, aka day five of attempting to write a book in a month, but it's also my second zero word day in a row. And my reasoning for this is that I did a road trip to go camping today and now we are about to be camping. And I kind of thought I was going to be able to write on the road, but then I decided not to because I just wanted break from screens because I've been working so much recently. And so I might just be taking this weekend off of writing. We'll see if I do any writing on the way back to my apartment after our camping trip, but all in all, November 5th was a zero word day. Today is November 7th. I am currently sitting in front of a bonfire and today I wrote zero words, which is my third day in a row, which is a zero word day, but having a great time. I'll go back to writing tomorrow. Today is November 8th and I am now back from my camping trip. I got back earlier today. I was really looking forward to being creative and getting some words done after taking a couple days off for my camping trip. But then in the evening, I ended up having a really long phone call and so I only actually wrote 501 words, but that does bring me up to 10,700 words so far in my story. And while it may not have been as many words as I was hoping to get done today after so many zero word days. Progress is progress and I'm still moving in the right direction. Today on November 9th, I tried writing like a full-time author with normal work hours and I ended up writing 4,012 words over a span of two hours worth of writing sprints, which means that I was writing very, very quickly, but those 4,000 words bring me up to a current total of 14,712 words in Project CF. Today was November 10th and today, despite good intentions, was a zero word day. November 10th was a zero word day. And I was not super stoked about it. I did have a lot of things pop up that I was not expecting, but I could also kind of feel myself resisting writing. And that lasted over into today, which is November 11th. And I could feel myself resisting writing like all day today, even though I got off work at like 2 p.m. And I just wanted to write and get some stuff done. I just didn't feel like doing it and I was kind of beating myself up about it. And I kept telling myself like, no, this is something that I want to do. And then another part of my brain would be like, no, it isn't like just 
not don't do this right now and so i was really struggling with that today and i only ended up writing for five minutes because that's all that i could get myself to do and so on november 11th i wrote 62 words which is definitely less than i want to be writing and this is hard because I know how many words a day I need in order to reach this goal of 50,000 words. If I write every single day, it's 1,667 words, but the way that I designed it, or the way that I tried to pre-plan was taking like six or seven days off, but in order to do that, I was hoping to write like 2,100 or 2,200 words a day in order to accommodate for those six or seven days I was going to give myself off. However, I am currently already sitting at four zero word days and it is November 11th. And today was almost a zero word day, it's 62 words, and so I don't even know how to classify that. But I give this advice to other people all the time and I'm just having a really hard time accepting that today, is that you just have to be nicer to yourself and you have to understand that progress is progress. And sometimes things get in the way and that mental health is more important than work or writing or other things that can come up. And I'm having a hard time like really accepting that today Today, but I'm hoping that by just like forgiving myself and just like letting myself go to bed that this will pass and ultimately be more productive than forcing myself to write more tonight because it doesn't feel productive and I was thinking that part of it might have been a little bit of burnout with how quickly I have been writing this story because I've had the first three days which I wrote 10,000 words during and then November 9th I wrote 4,000 words on and then I've only written like 563 words before today other than those four days and I'm currently sitting at like 14,000 words. I'm currently sitting at 14,774 words and so I'm just gonna try and be nice to myself tonight and go to sleep and try to approach writing earlier on tomorrow to see if I can get ahead of mental health issues but I'm also hoping that the mental health issues will have just passed <laughs> but I just wanted to be honest and say that I'm having a little bit of a hard time today and I honestly considered quitting and like not for any good reason but it was more of a, I should just like announce that I'm done. But like, I know that that's ultimately not what I want. And so I'm not gonna make that rash judgment right now and make that decision. And that I really should just give myself the night off and not try to write anymore and just go to bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully tomorrow is at least a couple hundred words. Today is November 12th and I ended up writing 1,202 words and I passed 15,000 and I'm almost now sitting at 16,000. And I definitely feel like I I was less stressed out today, which was very, very good. I think that going to bed last night was the right decision. And I think I need to not worry so much about the word count. Even though NaNoWriMo is very specific on a heavy word count, I really think I just need to chill and just try to feel out my story and just kind of give intentional time to my story and see what happens. Today is November 13th and today was actually a zero word day and I feel surprisingly okay with it. I was a little stressed out about it earlier, but I think overall it was the right decision to focus on some other things that needed focusing on today because again I'm just trying to remind myself that progress is progress and any words that I have written this month are more than I had at the beginning and I'm getting to enjoy writing a new story whether or not that means I write every single day or if I write a ton or don't write a ton so today was a zero word day and I feel perfectly fine with that but I am excited to get back into the world tomorrow and explore the story a little bit more on November 14th I ended up writing 1000 502 words in just over an hour which I'm very happy with and while it wasn't my ideal 2100 or 2200 words a day in order for me to take a couple of days off I am very happy with the amount that I accomplished and I'm excited to write tomorrow today is November 15th and I wrote 2526 words which brings me up to a total of 20,014 words so far in project CF and I think you guys know what that that means by this point that means it's time for another 10k celebration <sighs> I have to prepare myself Uh, it's 2.12 a.m. right now, so I don't really have the energy to be doing that, but 
I am now sitting at just over 20,000 words in Project CF and I'm feeling very good about it. On November 16th, I wasn't feeling super great, so I only ended up writing 313 words. No, it was not ideal. Yes, I am below technically where I'm supposed to be, but I just had to give myself the rest of the night off. On November 17th, I ended up writing 2,067 words, which brought me up to 22,394 words total so far. Alrighty, so on November 18th, I didn't end up writing any words. On November 19th, I didn't end up writing any words, which is um, bringing me up to a current total of seven zero word days before November 20th, which was um, the max of what I ended up calculating. And I've already hit that and we still have 11 more days of November to go. But then today was November 20th and I ended up writing 2,123 words, which brings me up to a current total of 24,517 words, which I think is awesome. I did do math before I started writing today and in order to accomplish the 50,000 words by the end of November, which including today was 11 days, I needed to average about 2,510 words a day. I think it's pretty obvious I didn't quite hit that today, so that number will go up just a smidge for the rest of the 10 days. But overall, feeling pretty good about it. I finally gave myself permission to stop writing in chronological order and skipping around and writing the scenes that I have in my head right now, which will give me even more to write as I go through this first draft because I will need to connect them to one another, which I think is ultimately going to be very beneficial, giving myself that permission. And today was one of my three heavy lifting days or my heavy word days that I had been hoping for. During the month of November because I was going to be on a plane three times and today was the first flight of those three and so I'm happy with the words that I accomplished and I'm hoping that I'm going to write more tomorrow. Today on November 21st I got to write at a coffee shop, hang out with my family, hang out with one of my best friends, and do some decorating for Christmas at my parents house as you can tell by the Christmas tree in the background. But today on November 21st I ended up writing 3,237 words which brings me up to a current total of 27,700 and 54 words. It was a great day of writing. I'm really looking forward to getting back into it tomorrow. Today is November 22nd and I started out today really not thinking that I was going to write much of anything, if anything, and much less actually hit an ideal word count goal or get anywhere close to the word count goal that I'm hoping to hit every single day for the rest of the month. And then I did a couple of really short sprints and that gave me the momentum to keep writing and I ended up writing 3,000 860 words today. Like I'm actually still in awe because I was just looking at the graph on the NaNoWriMo website and that means that today, November 22nd, was my second highest word day this month. And I started it not thinking that I was going to be able to write much of anything at all. So I am feeling very, very good right now and on top of that, I am now sitting at 31,614 words, which means that I passed 30k today, which means I need to do a little celebration. On November 23rd, I ended up writing 2,207 words. On November 24th, I ended up writing a total of 1,684 words. Part of that was in bed on my phone, but it worked. And that brings me up to a current total of 35,505 words. So I did end up writing for a little bit longer on November 25th, which was last night. And I ended up writing 1,818 words. And something that I'm really impressed with is that the last two days, so November 25th and November 24th, even though I did not write above 2,000 words and I didn't write quite as much as I had wanted to or I had hoped to in order to write at a pretty decent pace to finish out the month well, I still have time, but I was impressed that on November 24th when I wrote 1,684 words, that was above the recommended NaNoWriMo level pace for a day, which is 1,667 words. So it was above a day, which is helpful. And then November 25th was as well when I got 1,800 words. Today on November 26th, I ended up writing 2,214 words and today was day seven of a writing streak, which felt really, really good and definitely necessary to finish out November in NaNoWriMo strong. I have found it interesting that this past week I have written every single day, but this past week was when I was planning on taking days off. Hence why when I started NaNoWriMo, I was originally counting for six to seven days off of writing throughout the month, which then
then put my daily ideal word count goal somewhere between 2,100 and 2,200 words a day. But these past few days when I originally thought I was going to be taking time off, I didn't, but I've already taken seven days off earlier in the month on days that I was not anticipating. I just thought that this was an interesting observation moving forward, and hopefully I won't need any more zero word days before the end of the month because I really wanna finish this out strong. I really wanna hit 50K before the month is over. But overall, the writing is feeling really good. My trip ends tomorrow, so I'm gonna fly back to Salt Lake City and my apartment tomorrow, which I think is also going to lead to some productive writing, fingers crossed, very helpful for that. And so even though I'm currently sitting at 39,537 words, I'm hoping that I will get more done tomorrow. On November 27th, I flew back from Texas to Utah and I ended up writing 870 words on the plane for two reasons. I got very, very stressed out about work and I had to spend a whole lot of time after that in an airport and I was just so exhausted, so. The fact that I wrote 870 words at all, I'm very, very happy with. And those 870 words bring me up to 40,407 words, which means that I have passed 40,000, which is another 10K milestone, which means, woo, 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 <clears throat> yep, 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 woo, heck. Yes, let's get it. Three more days of NaNoWriMo, I'm hitting that 50K. On November 28th, I ended up writing 4,612 words, which brings me up past 45,000 to a total word count of 45,019 words for Project CF. And I only have two days left of NaNoWriMo to write 5,000 more words, and I'm feeling very, very confident. On November 29th, I definitely wanted to write like 2,500 words, but I only ended up writing, again, only because this is NaNoWriMo but I only ended up writing 1,481 words, which would be a very, very solid number and is a very solid number, but I would probably feel better about that number if it wasn't NaNoWriMo because I am rapidly trying to chase down a goal and it is now 2.38 a.m. If it was any earlier, I would try to get that number up to at least 2,000, but I'm not going to because I need to go to bed. But that brings me up to a current total of 46,500 words. That means that tomorrow I would like to write 3,500 words in order to hit the 50,000 words for NaNoWriMo. Do I think this is doable? Yes. Do I think that this will be difficult? I sure hope not. I really think that if I start early enough in the day and as long as I pace myself well, I should be able to finish this just fine. Part of me is worried about finishing that before midnight though, so I'm going to try and get started as early on in the day as possible and kind of rush through to the end and just not rush through, but like push myself to do writing sprints and like actually sit my butt down in the chair to get writing done because I am going to finish NaNoWriMo tomorrow. Today is November 30th and I wrote 3,505 words today, which brings me up to a total of 50,005 words well before midnight, which means that I officially wrote 50,000 words in 30 days and I won NaNoWriMo 2021. Oh my gosh, I feel so elated right now. I feel like such a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. And of course, the best thing that I need to do to celebrate is do my little woo thing because I won mother freaking NaNoWriMo. Woo! Wee! Wee! <laughs> woo! Okay, getting dizzy. Oh my gosh, I did it, I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. I won. Oh, it's a marvelous thing. Oh, it is a marvelous thing. Oh my gosh, wow. I wrote 50,000 words, technically 50,005 words, in 30 days. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm ready for a break <laughs> and I'm ready to go celebrate. So that is writing a book in 30 freaking days. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this from me, make sure you scroll down below and hit that big red subscribe button because I am posting videos twice a week on the writing process and my eventual path to publication. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.